Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to the Universum, where the Cabordia PD are on patrol, because of course we now have police nuggets, which is brilliant. I like the police nuggets. They wear proper little kind of British style policing helmets, the kind of big tall ones, and I think so far they're doing a good job. I think they're working very well. I don't think we have that much of a crime issue to begin with. I don't think it was that much of a problem before we got the police in, but right now the crime level is very low, which is good. And we can go and see if people have been locked up or not. So over here in the station, which is kind of more toward the middle of Cabordia, there's nobody there in the two very lovely looking cages out the front. So nobody's in that one. And I think we have another one over here, look. So is anybody locked up over here? I don't think there is. Nope, nobody over there. And then we have one more police station right now. That's over in the new bit of town over here. The bit that kind of sprung up last time. Very good. Good job, Nuggets. Anything over here? No. Nobody over there either, which is wonderful. So well done, Cabordia PD. You are doing a very good job indeed of making sure that people behave and everyone's nice and safe and such like. That is very good indeed. So you lot carry on doing that. You keep on keeping the peace. That's all brilliant. We're going to turn our attention to the sort of expedition dig type thing. So last time we did send some nuggets down under the ground to see what they could find. However, one of them is injured. One of our 10 nuggets that we sent down there is currently on the rescue sled and it says there an injured dying nugget, which is not very good at all. So a few people in the comments did point out that if we tell them to camp, we then get some special options somewhere, which allow us to spend creator points to heal them up and also provide food as well. So I think that's what we'll do. So let's get time ticking on and we'll tell you lot to have a bit of a rest. So, okay, set up camp somewhere. Ah, there we go morale refilling oh okay pause time for a second hang on they've finished doing the camp because i think yeah their morale is okay anyway so they finished doing the camp but look we've got two options down here we can cure for 50 of our creator points or we could feed for 50 of our creator points oh that's quite good hang on it says down here plus one educated and plus one uneducated nuggets recovered recovered from what we still do have the one on the rescue sled there. That's probably not great. So I think if we tick time on, uh, oh, no hang, no, hang on, right, camp and then cure. There we go, you have to do that very quickly. You have to do that very quickly. And then can we do camp and feed? Okay, so we've given them more food. Manna from heaven, eaten during the hike. We provided magic food. Sweet, tasty lumps of something. I don't know what it is. It looks a bit like popcorn, possibly. But whatever the case, they've got their regular food and then they've got the manna from heaven food that we've just conjured up for them. Okay, this is very good. This is very good. So now, where can they get to? Where can we get to? Ooh, we found things. We found a rare... Hang on, pause time. A rare underground compass. So an artifact. The artifact will be converted at base camp into discovery points. Oh, we're going to get a massive pile of discovery points. Oh, that's very exciting. And rare ore, that might get turned into different resources. And then common alien armor. Okay, so we just sort of dismantle that and turn it into different resources as well. Okay, this is very exciting. And they're still going. They are still going. They can do much in the way of diving under the ground. So let's let them do that. They can just carry on doing that. We'll make sure that everything is okay. Oh, crikey, there's an infected zone somewhere. Um, ah, right outside the warehouse. Probably not great. Who got injured? Who got sick from that? Don't we have a, um, don't we have a graveyard? Pretty much next to this. Did we not set one up? There's, there's farms. Um, I thought, oh no, maybe not. The graveyard might be over there. Do the graveyards have a range, actually? That's a good point. Do they have a range? Cemetery. It's just... Oh, this little bit here is just outside the reach of a cemetery. Okay. <laughs> that is somewhat unfortunate. Okay, right. We will help. We will help with that, I think. Right, let us telekinesis you. There we go. We'll pick you up and we shall put you over here. Okay, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the radius thing. That is not ideal, is it? So over here is going to be a little bit of an issue if people pass away. Can, you, can everybody not die around here, please? Can you die somewhere else? That'd be great. Thank you. Um, I mean, could we fit one in here? Could we fit a, um, a thing here? Oh, the team is overloaded. 
Click to open the window and choose what to drop. Oh, oh, crikey's. Okay, hang on a minute, hang on. We've got some, uh, we've got some stuff to do here. So three items were found. Uh, food decreased, morale decreased, some nuggets became tired, and okay, right, that's fine. So that's a little update. Ah, yes, weight-wise, we are finding a lot of things. Oh no, we've got injured nuggets again. Uh, that requires weight. Okay, so camp and then cure. There we go. So that sorts out, oh, and then cure again, because we have got a lot of creator points. Right, so that brings us, oh, there you go. Because the nuggets were injured, they're obviously not then available to carry some stuff. But now that they are back on their feet, they can carry more things. Okay, I think food is looking okay. They've got plenty of food and they've got the magic food as well. Yeah, okay. This is looking pretty good. And yeah, we've got now, as well as the other stuff, we've got a rare Ent leg. Okay, that's going to become discovery points. And an alien multi-tool. Also discovery points. Okay, keep digging because look, you're nearly down into the what? The one, two, third, the fourth kind of strata, if you like, under the ground here. Do you find better things the deeper you go into the ground? I do not know. Let's let them find out. Um, ah, okay. Is it is it you that got ill? Is it you that got ill? Are you in the hospital though? Are you in the hospital? Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. We'll let the uh, we'll let the doctor do that. The doctor can sort that out. They can do all the work on you because yeah, that's literally their job and such. Um, a few people have been saying, can we please upgrade the water pumps? Because otherwise the Minister of Water will start putting down more. I don't think they will. I don't think the Minister of Water will because we have got a ridiculous amount of water. We gain 306 water every 10 minutes. So we're in kind of you know, very much sort of water profit territory there. We could upgrade... One, maybe. We'll do them slowly, um, because, yeah, we've still got a load of bricks. We don't need any more for construction, though, which is good. We'll do that one. In fact, you know, we'll do two. Let's properly push the boat out. And then, if we could possibly get another couple of reservoirs around, that would not be a bad thing. Can we find any spots where they're going to be effective? How about somewhere over here, look? Efficiency 100%. Let's pop a reservoir just there, because that's just going to store some more water, which is very advantageous. Pesticides and fertilizer is done. Okay, pause time, because we've come to the end of the research thing. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, reservoir over here, maybe. Can we fit one over here? Is that going to be helpful? Um, it might be helpful if we could fit one in over here. I think that road is gone anyway. But yeah, what if we put one right over there okay this road doesn't really matter i don't think does it unless we just put it here efficiency it's 90 percent efficient yeah we'll have one of those that's going to annoy the other people nearby bother okay we won't have one there then that's fine it's going to come to a point where we are just going to have to annoy the other people just because because that's how it's going to have to work uh oh yeah look there's not there's not a reservoir over here that is a bit of a massive oversight, isn't it? Sorry, everybody, I forgot about that. Uh, we'll put one there, because that seems quite good. And then we'll get one more kind of over here. Can we fit one in this gap? Does one sort of fit in there? Like This might say it's going to annoy the other people, but we're just going to have to annoy them. Yeah, sorry, sorry, we're annoying you on purpose. I do apologise. But, you know, progress is coming, and that's important. Right, now go to the research tree. So, um, yeah, we are going to have a giant stack of discovery points soon. But maybe we just go back and pick up a few of the ones that we haven't grabbed so far. So all those are done across the top. We haven't got tactical evisceration and we haven't got boiled water. So our nuggets you know, can do many things, but they haven't figured out how to boil water yet. So I think maybe we get that done now. That's quite good. So that's a 7% reduction in their thirst rate, which is pretty good. So they're going to be thirsty a bit less. Um, and then we can't do anything else with 17 discovery points. So I think by the look of it, do we have to go on to medical enlightenment? Okay, so now we can bring our hospitals in line with some medieval buildings. We're not that far away. Yeah, look, industrialization is right there. I think that takes us into the modern age oh my goodness me okay we'll have that uh, ah we'll have graveyards that could be quite handy i think uh, and then we'll get entertainment 
and then the Ministry of Entertainment. And that'll do for our queue for now. Okay, right, this is going this is going very well. Right, boiled water research complete. That's pretty good. Um, I think maybe one of our recent discoveries did allow us to upgrade the eatery, didn't it? So 10 iron. We've got 129. Uh, one cement. Uh, where's our cement? We've got 21. And glass. Got loads of that. So I wonder, is it worth upgrading all of the eateries? Is it worth doing that? And then very soon... Oh, and the farms? Yes, we can upgrade the farms, can't we? Ah, oh, yeah, somebody did point out in the comments... Actually, more than a few somebodies. Um, they said that um, our... When we were getting herbs, we picked up the herbs and we were throwing them into the storage areas. That was fine. That's okay. We can do that. Gets us herbs. But you can throw the herbs into a farm and then grow the herbs on a farm. Just to make sure you always have a steady supply. So it might be worth getting ourselves one little kind of herb farm set up just to see how that works. We'll go and do that now. Let's go and do that because we know this stuff over here. So yeah, can we grab that? So whatever that is, uh, and then we'll just kind of woo, just woo this around a bit so people can believe in us. Look, there's a magic flying thing. Also, hang on, a firestorm is approaching in three and a half minutes. Yay. <laughs> Good. Right, throw that in. Okay. So now we've unlocked the secrets of the devil's lettuce. So where does that grow best? Devil's lettuce, which I've completely... Ah, there. Okay. Uh, grassland. Okay. So that's not what we're growing now, though, is it? No, that's the bloody diarrhea fruit. Okay. Can we find a spot for a farm just kind of anywhere around here? Anywhere here? Or is that a little bit too foresty? Okay, I think we can get a farm in there. It's going to ruin that road. But I don't think that road really matters because it doesn't go anywhere. It's a literal road to nowhere. It just kind of comes down here, look, and then ends. So um, I think... Oh, no, hang on. It can, oh, it can fit just there, but that becomes... That's a forest farm. That's not ideal. We don't want a forest farm. Unless we just have another farm. We can just tuck that in as a forest farm. Leave that road intact because... Because we can. And then just put the herb farm somewhere else. Shall we do that? Yeah, let's go. Hang on. I think it's facing the wrong way round, though. Yeah, there's the there's the sort of entry point and exit point thing. So, um, yeah, can we have that sort of set up over? Yeah, like that, look. That's fine. Yeah, so pop that there. Uh, yeah, we're going to annoy a lot of people because we're building next to them. But yeah, we've got no other options. We have to build somewhere, and that's where we're building. Um, and then, maybe over here, look, we could get the herb farm. I think that's what we do. Yeah, so let's pop that over here so that's grassland and again we'll lose this bit of road here but i'm not so bothered unless we sort of rotate it round and snap it to there um why is the entire road network going red i don't want to lose all of these roads if i'm building a farm there it doesn't affect that junction down there does it <laughs> that would be a bit strange if it did uh we can't fit it in over here i don't think because it's a little bit too big, so it can't fit in over there. Um, I think, yeah, we'll just put it here, look. We'll put it there. It can sort of... I'm not going to snap it exactly to the road, but we'll put that, say, there. So, yes, yeah, sorry. Right, so that kind of pointy bit's gone, and that bit's gone, but that road there still exists. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm okay with that. That's all good. Um, and then, yes, let us nip into here... So, uh, yeah, we want to find buildings that can be upgraded. Right, so the eateries, yes, there are quite a lot of them, but I think it's probably worth doing. So, right, let's get that done. So 80 iron, that's quite a chunk of iron. Uh, a bit of cement and a bit of glass. Yeah, okay, so do that. And then farms, also upgrade those. So 12 planks, got loads of planks. 12 bricks, got an okay amount of bricks. Iron and glass again, yeah, okay, let's get that done too. Let's get all of the things sort of out of the Stone Age and into the Medieval Age, because very soon we might be going into the Modern Age. And it would seem a little bit daft to have, you know, sort of like Modern Age buildings and a Stone Age kind of farm. So let's try and modernise things a little bit. Let's pop back to the thing. What's going on over here? How are you all? Um, okay, two items are found. Two uneducated, uneducated nuggets are fully rested. Food has gone down a bit. Morale's gone down. People have got a bit tired. Um, okay, if people are a bit tired, why not 
have a little rest. There we go. And we shall cure the nugget who was injured. Again, we are bringing back so many things. A rare ancient egg. Okay. <laughs> Is that the best thing to bring back? Do we want them to start bringing back random eggs that could hatch into all sorts of terrifying things? I'm not entirely sure we do, but uh, okay. And they've got common alien spares. We're bringing back all sorts of random bits and bobs. This is great. Um, and they're still going. They still do have quite a lot of food. Oh, hang on. Uh, there's a firestorm happening. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Imminent firestorm. Shaka reports, it's so hot I can cook an egg outside. A heat wave must be... Oh, must be underway. Oh, must be upon us. Okay. So what happens it? What happens? I don't like the fact the edge of the screen is all kind of orangey because it makes me think that things are going to be on fire. Uh, there's a rainstorm there. This is this is a bit grim. I don't like this. How long does this last for? <laughs> Can it go away? I don't like the firestorm. I'm nervous and sweaty about it. Um, oh, Wim Raval says a fire is spreading to the city. Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah, it, it is. Yeah, the hospital there is a little bit on fire. Right, wait there. Wait there, Nuggets. Don't worry, we've got much in the way of magic power to do this. So let us try and extinguish that fire. There we go. So right, we've put that fire out. That's good. And hopefully more people might believe in us. A local arsonist has complained that a nearby fire is threatening to steal his job. Oh, no. <laughs> what else is on fire? We're going to have to do a lot of putting out of fires oh no okay right rain on this as well just make sure we have enough multiple nuggets just reported a fire nearby no <laughs> where 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 are the flames uh don't worry i'm here to help sort it out oh crikey the, that's on fire right, okay yeah that is quite bad we'll try and rain on that to put that out i think are we okay maintain vigilance uh, a fire is spreading to the city. Oh my goodness. Oh, yep, yep. That's that's now on fire. Is the police place? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're still looking good for creator points. We can probably cast a few more of these. Not too many more that I wouldn't have thought. Uh, I mean, that's the reservoir. The reservoir is on fire. How does that, how does that catch on fire? A fire at sea parks. Um, okay, well, hang on a minute. Hang on, that's very much on fire. Sort that out as well. Um, oh no. <laughs> More flames. Uh, it's already raining on this building. It's already rain. Was that the firefighters? Hurt? I think the firefighters hurt might have been on fire, which probably isn't great. Um, I don't know if we're attracting more people to believe in. Oh, um, somebody has been arrested. Uh, yep, the short arms of the Nuggets are proving to be good again. Yep, let's see who is that. Um, ah, yeah. Uh, Ku Kurozu Geek has been arrested. Good hat, Kurozu Geek. Uh, oh, actually, hang on. Is it a good hat? Is that a good hat or is it made out of a turtle? Okay, now I'm not entirely convinced that is a good hat. Um, we can upgrade the hospitals. Oh, yeah, because we just picked up Medical Enlightenment, didn't we? Um, okay, how about then? What do we need? Iron cement and glass okay i would say it's worth upgrading all the hospitals because we haven't got that many so yeah it'll be quite good if we could do that do you know what let's just upgrade all the water pumps um oh uh upgrading this type of building all at once might lead to water supply shortage or electricity supply shortage oh oh do the new pumps need power oh Ah, right. Okay, that's possibly a bit of an issue. Do you require some sort of power? Um, require electricity, zero. No, everything's fine, game. Everything's fine. D desist, your, desist your warnings. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, get on with it. 30 planks, got loads of those. 30 bricks, 12 iron. Yeah, we're going to be fine. Upgrade everything. Everybody upgrade all the things and we'll make sure that nothing catches on fire too badly. <laughs> Keep looking around. Oh, anything over here? No, we have cast quite a lot of rain on everything. So I imagine all the rain that we've already got pouring down is uh, helping quite a bit. Let's just keep vigilant. Just make sure that nothing is on fire. Don't worry, Nuggets. We are watching over you. And the firestorm's gone. Ah, the firestorm has finished. Okay, 
we did all right, and we've still got 656 points left. So that actually was okay. That wasn't too bad at all. Hopefully the things that were on fire can be kind of repaired by the repair nuggets and all that kind of stuff. Got an E-tree being upgraded over here. Uh, in fact, I would like to see what they look like. What do they look like? Oh, crikey, it's taking a long time to get that done. They're going to be there a good long time. Let's move time on slightly quicker. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. Let's not do that. Let's keep an eye on these guys here because we do want to make sure they're okay. Um, oh, hang on. There's an infected zone somewhere. Uh, pause time in the background. So two items are found, but yet they're eating food. Morale is coming down, but they still seem pretty happy to me. They found an epic giant tooth. Okay, that's discovery points as well. We are going to be absolutely awash with discovery points. Have they found a zombie's are? <laughs> what? A grizzly mummified hand that's missing a finger. Collectors may find it precious. Okay, that's discovery points. Oh, does it tell us at the bottom how many discovery points we get? Oh, that's three. That's six from that. So that's nine discovery points. Uh, oh my goodness me, that's massive penge. Nine plus that's 15. That's 19. That's going to be 25. All these things are going to be effectively a free discovery point upgrade, which is quite welcome. That's quite nice. Uh, where is our current issue over here? Oh no. Okay, uh, somebody... Hang on a minute. What's happening? Hang on. So somebody was over here doing some art. They were painting a lovely picture with the sort of Critivo logo on there, on this easel. Uh, that person died, and you thought, Do you know what? I'm going to stand over their dead body and finish their work. <laughs> I mean, okay. I kind of see, I see, I like the sort of, you know, the effort there of completing the work. Possibly you might want to um, not stand over their corpse, because that's probably not great, is it? Uh, where's the thing? Can I telekinesis? Not you. I want to telekinesis the dead one. <laughs> Can you move? Move out of the way. Now you're just painting nothing because it wasn't your it wasn't your easel. Um how oh, some hungry wolves uh went hunting. Okay. Uh they're really far away. Really, really far away. Do we need to worry too much about this? Okay, let's pick one up. We'll pick one up. Uh and uh, is F? F doesn't take us back to the middle, does it? Where's where's the middle? <laughs> Where's our place? There it is. Hello. Um, right, can we throw this into an eatery or something? Can we throw this into an eatery? Uh, or into there? Look, that would just turn into food, won't it? 821. And that became 831. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, right, we'll just uh, we'll pick another one off, shall we? We'll have you at the front. There you go. Thank you so much. We shall head back over this way. Might crash into a mountain there, but it's all fine. Uh, right, and then we'll put that into there as well then. So that's another 10 food and another one dealt with. Uh, we'll add the one in the middle now. Let's just... Oh, look at that. More people believing in us. This is very good. Uh, we'll put this one over here maybe somewhere. There you go. Pop it into there. Some more food into there. And... The, the thing has gone over here. Have the wolves just given up? <laughs> Did they look and go, do you know what? It's not worth it. I'm not going to bother. Um, construction completed. Uh, the eat. Ah, here we go. Yeah, so the eateries now look... Oh, I remember this. Yes, like a proper little sort of building now. They're not just, you know, some rocks you can sit on. There's proper tables and chairs and a sign. And they sell pizza in here, apparently. Have we invented pizza yet? I'm not quite sure. But there we go. So they've got two cooks in them and more eating spots. And I think they can hold more raw food and more prepared food and more water, which is good. Yeah, okay, that's really good. So we're slowly getting those upgraded. The, um, the hospital is slowly being upgraded. That's taking a while. That's taking a while. Is it worth getting another um, courier hut thing in? Where are the other courier huts? There's one. Can we see where the others are? Is it not doing that? Oh, I thought when we clicked on them, it showed us where they were, but okay, never mind. Uh, ah, the farm has just received its final touches. Is, did a nugget just die? Have we got a dead nugget there? Not quite sure. Okay, ah, graveyard research is complete, though. So how about we find 
the graveyards. Yeah, let's find it in here. Right, so upgrade all the cemeteries. So 15 iron, we've got 80. 12 cement, we've got 30. So getting through it. And 15 glass, got 54. So we are working our way through the resources, but that's okay. That's fine. And here is a proper, I was going to say modern farm. It's not modern. It's a medieval farm. But there we go. We've moved away from ye olde kind of stone age farms into some slightly better farms. Okay, although right now I doubt they're doing much because it's a bit cold out there. But right, so we are making some really good, some really good sort of strides forward at the minute. However, what I think we'll do is when we've researched entertainment and then the Ministry of Entertainment, we might get a movie theatre in because that could be quite fun. But then we will not go for industrialization for a little while until all the other things are upgraded. I think maybe we might want to just wait a short while just to stock up on resources, maybe get some cement in reserve and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, we'll see what we can do with that because I don't want to sort of rush too far ahead too quickly and then it all go a bit wrong. Somebody's in an infected zone. Um, oh yeah, over here there definitely won't be a thing, will there? There will definitely not be any kind of healing over here. Right, rejuvenate you. Not healing, a graveyard. Sorry, that's what I meant. Um, and then we will grab you and pluck you up off the... Oh, no, hang on. I didn't pluck you off the floor enough. There we go. Hi, everybody. Woo. <laughs> Spooky floating corbs. Uh, and then pop you into there. We. Um, what happened to the person over here? Are they okay now? Were they over here somewhere? I think maybe... No, oh, oh, okay. Was it you that died? Maybe we'll just help you out anyway. You can go over to this graveyard. You can go to this one. It's going to be fine. So, boop. There we go. That is not topping up. Why is that not... Oh, because... Yes, because it's winter. The, the wind... Uh, the water turbine things aren't doing anything, of course because it's cold and terrible. So, okay, yeah, that'll sort itself out. That'll be absolutely fine. Um, let's go and check on our expedition nuggets. How are they doing? Being brave and underground. Oh, okay, right. Peep in the comments. I take back what I said. I completely take back what I said. Another water pump's been put together by the, uh, the Minister of Water. You were completely right, commenting people. I will just shush. <laughs> they built another one. Oh, oh. Hooray! What's happening? This is fun. Some something exciting happened. Uh, okay. <laughs> what was that in aid of? Did we find out? Oh, okay. A fun thing happened and everybody was happy about it. Wonderful. Um, okay. Ah, I think we have an injured nugget again. By the look of it. Have we got an injured one? Oh, no. I think one might be dead. I think a nugget might have possibly died. Uh, ah. Yes, one nugget died. Oh no. Uh, hang on, yeah, so they are, they're doing stuff with dwarves. Yeah, so they've gone into a cave and then, yeah, Dwarven Tower loomed on the horizon. The nuggets approached the tower flanked by snoring guards. The nuggets slipped past the dwarves and grabbed a couple of bags on the way. Ah, we've used half our food. The team will turn back. Uh, do you know what? We have got quite a lot of stuff. So I am okay for you guys to come back for now. That's that's good. I like that. Um, okay, so grab some goodies. They found all sorts of bits and bobs. Uh, there was nothing exciting going on. Having successfully passed the tower, the party approached a gated dwarven city unnoticed. The air was heavy with the smell of factories and fishy street fare, but the roads were empty. After not finding an entrance, a few nuggets decided to climb over the fence. Unfortunately, their clumsiness led to a few injuries and a nugget died. Ah, okay. Right, so a nugget just died from an accident. It wasn't like a long thing. It just sort of happened okay. And nothing else happened. Uh, in this part of the cave, for some reason, the atmosphere was particularly ominous. Okay, we've seen that before. So it was a little bit kind of grim in one particular bit. The ground rumbled, frightening the already unsettled party. Oh, okay, right. So more creepy hands coming out of the floor. And morale is looking really bad. How about you have a little rest? Just have a little rest roll. We won't give you any food because I don't think you need it. I think you've already grabbed, you've grabbed loads of exciting things. So bring all that back. An epic perpetual engine. Okay. 
That's worth 12 discovery points. Oh my goodness me. We are going to get so many discovery point things done. Um, somebody else has died over here <laughs> with a cart. They've died with a cart. Um, okay, we'll pick, we'll pick you up and the cart. We know you love that cart. So let's bury you with the cart. Um, where is, oh yeah, hang on. We've got a different graveyard now, haven't we? Everything is looking a little bit different. Yeah, they've got a proper sort of, um, I'm not like, not like a crypt type thing over there, whatever that is. Like a sort of, uh, yeah, a, a graveyardy type of thing. It's like a tall building. It's got a cross on the top. Yeah, we've got some, um, some stone, sort of more gravestone like graves now, rather than just being, you know, sort of random bits of rock sticking out of the ground. They're kind of shaped a bit now. Okay, there we go. It's hard to see in the snow. It's hard to see all these lovely new buildings in the snow. But yeah, very soon we will get this sorted out. Oh yeah, who went through there? Saboku. Uh, are you okay? Do you know what? We're going to heal you. I know the doctor might be able to do it, but we're going to do it to try to get people to believe in us. I don't know if it worked or not, but there we go. Yeah, we're down to about half. Half the people, uh, half the nuggets now believe in us, which is not great. Those points are ticking up relatively slowly, which is a bit of a bother because, you know, at some point we will need them, like we saw putting out the fires and things, but... There we go. Never mind. Can't do too much about it, I don't think. Um, oh, a box. I forgot about the box. At the surface of the box inscribed with mysterious markings. They always are. The box is warm to your nugget's touch. Something rocks around inside and an earthly scent reaches your... No, earthy, not earthy. An earthy scent reaches your nuggets and it's a bit warm. Joe you know what? Let's open it. Why not? What, what could possibly go wrong apart from all the things? Uh, the box opened. Ah, we got a piece of gigantic Benjamin. That's brilliant. And um, it was just a load of stone. Is that it? Oh, okay. I mean, that's not to be sniffed at, I suppose. That's yeah, all good. Resources are all very helpful, but it's not overly exciting. Oh, the hospital. The hospital is now upgraded. We have a leaf water and a spoon working in there now. Um, yeah, look, they're dealing with a couple of leg breaks, possibly. Um, and um, yeah, there's four spots in there now. So they can treat four people, which is great. Uh, we've got herb storage and medicine storage. Oh, yes. How are they doing over here with our new things? So there's one farm going in and the other farm. Ah, I think it's almost done. OK, let's watch them finish this. And this can be for herbs because we don't have that much in the way of herbs. So I think maybe we could just do with getting a farm just to keep that steadily topped up. OK, there we go. That farm is now complete. It's a fancy farm as well. It's a lovely kind of medieval one. So let's change what they're going to grow. So can you please grow the devil's lettuce? Uh, so yeah, eight minutes. We get 36 crop out of it and it requires a tiny bit of food which is fine. So um, yeah, if you could grow that um, and Corobos Felagund is working over there, some other people should be as well. Are they not being auto assi assign all? Uh, right, so Yumko Bettina and Aka Felagund. Okay, so a couple of the Felaguns. The Felaguns are doing very well. Um, let's have a quick look around There's the police. <laughs> Hello, who's that police officer? Uh, Chizumba Geek. We've got Sabati M-A-T-N, got Belba Bettina, which is a fantastic name. Uh, who are you? Did we look at you? Uh, Tishemba M-A-T-N. There's a lot of M-A-T-N still. Just going to have a quick look and see who there is. There's another Bettina. Another Bettina. Crikey. Uh, there's a Baggins. So you're a Baggins police officer. Uh, there's a lovely, that person there looks fantastic. Uh, a geek. Oh, you're a doctor. Oh, you're a doctor. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Who's behind you? Who's that there? That's another Felagund. Or are they just working their way over to the farm? Uh, there's a Wonkaloids. That's brilliant. That's a fox. You can just come through, fox. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, another Baggins. There's, there's there's a lot, but we're not seeing that much variety in names. Anymore. There's a lot of Bettinas, Geeks, MATNs, Bagginses, and Felaguns. Maybe we need to go to a different part of town. Oh, there's an Oak Moon. Okay, that's quite encouraging. There's an Oak. I mean, there's another MATN. There's so many MATNs and geeks. Wow. Okay. Oh, the Ministry of Architecture just placed an engineer hut. Where? What? What? Why? Hang on. Uh, pause time. What's happening? <laughs> Why are they over here? Why? 
What? Why? That I don't have any more words. I don't have any more questions, Your Honor. Why? There we go. No more questions. The the, the defense. No, the offense rests or whatever it is. They've built right next to Carinaville, like really close, and it's one residential building and an engineer hut. Okay. Are we going to end up building around here then? Uh, a few people said we can get bridges at some point. I did see. Where is it? I did see a thing about bridges. Uh, oh, there. That thing. Um, yes, a medieval bridge. I mean, is it worth just queuing that up? Although, we have got other things we can get first for our, uh, for our discovery points. Uh, maybe... What about... I mean, I feel like we should get some of these things done. So, round cogs plus 15 water pump output. Queue that up. That leaves us with 35. And then we could either get the Archimedean screw for another 25 of our points to get another 10 water pump output. So the water pumps get plus 25 output from each water pump. That should keep us going for a long time. Or do we get water purification? Oh, for another water pump output. Um, or we could get flint daggers just to make the fish gutting time a little bit quicker. We'll do that one. I'm pretty happy with our water pumps at the minute. Um, and then maybe when our brave adventurers come back, we could get this thing here and get bridges. And then we could possibly build a bridge from here to sort of over there, maybe, just to make it a bit easier to go over here. Because right now, <laughs> they're sort of out there on their own. Uh, okay, that's a little bit odd, but right you are. That's that's what they've done, and that's what we're going to have to deal with. It seems a bit strange to me. I would not have built a residential building out there, but I suppose people have got to live somewhere, and we're just going to kind of roll with it. Oh, hang on. Our team are overcrowded. What's going on? Um, okay, we got injured nuggets again. We found three relical golden pyramids. 39... Oh, my word. Um, ah, the morale is refilling. They'll break camp in no time. But, um, have we got... Oh, okay. We're carrying way too much stuff. What do we want to drop? Um, I don't want to drop all of the hammer and rope. Can we drop a certain amount? Um, okay, if we do that... Ah, there we go, yeah. So you can drop a certain amount of these. Okay, drop a few of those. And then, I mean, how long is it until you come back? You're still going to make all that way back. Crikey. And they're still finding things as they go. They're still finding stuff. And Nugget thought it would be wise to tie shoelaces with snakes around them. Moments later, he couldn't breathe. There's something wrapped around him. Suddenly, there was a thud and the pressure loosened. Another party member had slain the massive snake. There was much rejoicing. Yay. Okay. <laughs> One of our Nuggets, I assume, one of the uneducated Nuggets, Thought, hey, there's a snake. I'll use it to tie my shoelaces. Okay, that was a bit silly. That was a bit silly. But, okay, hang on, they put it into their coat. Um, a nugget noticed a large piece of snake skin in the road. Thinking it might serve as a makeshift raincoat, he slid it over his clothes, making others in the party a bit worried about his sanity. Oh, no. <laughs> that was, okay, right. That was just... That was just a nugget being a bit strange. Okay, right. This is pretty. I like. I like it when the nuggets do strange things like that. That's kind of the the charm, I would say, of the university. It's a little bit kind of bonkers. It's a little bit bonkerloids. Um, okay, I think have all of our upgrade projects finished. I think they might have done. I think they might have done. So, uh, okay, what are we lacking right now? What's looking a bit low? Given that we're going into a you know, potential modern age soonish. What's looking low? So concrete. No, not concrete. Cement, sorry. That's looking a bit low. That takes bricks and oil. Okay, we have massive amounts of oil, but we don't have very much in the way of bricks. Okay, so possibly do we get another brick factory, whatever it is, like a brick refinery in, just to make sure we have enough bricks to help that with the cement and then get another one of those in as well. So get another cement factory and another brick manufactory in. And that might help out a little bit there. And then, um, yeah, glass potentially also looking a little bit low. Herbs is low, but we're trying to sort that out with this over here. So hopefully... Why are they growing... Why are they growing bloody diarrhea fruit? I thought I told you to grow the 
Grow the devil's... Are you not growing devil's lettuce? Maybe that's what they've got to do next. Oh, okay. You can change a crop for next year. Oh, okay. So we're not going to get any herbs out of that. Oh, bother agents. Okay, are there herbs? Are you herbs? Yes. Okay, we're going to... No, that's rejuvenating. Hang on. We're going to do some magic telekinesis. And we're going to do a lot of it. And boom. Okay, we've got couple of these things now so we could put them into there put them into that hospital and that should be pretty good well, they're topped up with lots of herbs maybe we should have put it into storage i think i think that also looks like devil lettuce yeah okay we'll grab that as well so hang on a minute telekinesis pick all of those things up right there we go the little bush is gone but that's okay yes yeah, so if we pop that into here got nine uh, herbs right now up to 21 brilliant yep that'll do happy with that that seems pretty good there is a oh a new residential going in just there next to the farm over here which is slowly being put together okay the ministry of entertainment is done which is good so now research can come to a halt temporarily we can then pick up another discovery point thing i mean let's get water purification we'll grab that and that can just be done immediately because that's how they work right okay so our water pumps are now going to be going great guns so they're all sorted out so we need 25 for an archimedean screw and then we need some for a corbel arch and then we've got oh gunpowder oh okay <laughs> right we're gonna get shooty guns are we Okay, right, that's fine. And then penicillin adds to the Nugget's lifespan and also means we can get a Minister of Health. And then we move on to industrialization. Okay, I think we're not going to quite do that yet. We will wait for our brave explorers to come back. Let's see what's going on. Things haven't been going too well. Food and morale have come down, but that's kind of to be expected. That's kind of to be expected. That's fine, isn't it? So, um, yeah, okay, they're going to take a while to go. I mean, another seven minutes to head home. But I think, yeah, we have to get them home. And then we can see what's going on with this. I don't know what's going on with the thing. It's the, I can't move over to it. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, we've got all sorts of bits and bobs. A common alien chip. We're going to have a lot of discovery points. We're going to have well over 40, I would have thought. Maybe even over 50 or 60. So we should be able to sort out a load of stuff. A farm was damaged by a criminal. Ooh, where's the criminal? Who's who's doing criminal stuff? Can we stop being a criminal? Who did that? What's our crime like? Crime level is very low. Um, I assume the two little faces there underneath where it says crime level is very low. I assume they are telling us how many sort of troublemakers we've got. So I'm guessing the the one on the left is they're a bit naughty, and the one on the right is that they're really naughty. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how the sort of the troublesomeness of those of uh, the you know, the criminals is measured. But okay, okay, that's fine. That's okay. We'll uh, we'll just sort of uh, we'll let them deal with that. The officers have got that. The yeah, the brave noble police officers of Cambodia have got that in hand. I think to maybe just pass a bit of time. Let's have a little look around. To see if we can find another sort of um, meteor impact site thing and grab ourselves another mystery box to take back to the middle and just you know, investigate and maybe open it, maybe not. I mean, there might not be any more. There might not be any more. We might just have to get them out of sort of crashed UFOs and other things like that. But if there is one, we might as well go and grab it. The team are overloaded. Okay, hang on a minute. Um, are they injured? Is somebody injured? No. Just again, they're just picking up loads of exciting things. Um, okay, you're going to drop your hammer and you, you're going to drop all your hammers and your ropes. Oh my goodness me. Okay, a one nugget. Oh, a nugget's died. That would be what. Okay, if we can drop. I don't want to drop the food though. I don't want to drop the food. Uh, what if you camp and that might allow you to eat some food? Uh, and nuggets are recovering. Okay, this is good. So they're recovering a bit. Um, they are still overloaded. Uh, okay, let's drop the final bit of hammer and rope. 
and then just hope that they can come back and be alive. Okay. Uh, right. So yeah, they've got, I mean, they're going to bring back so many amazing things. It's going to be incredible, but we just do need to actually get them back now. Um, okay. I don't think, I don't think I could see another kind of lovely mystery goodie box thing anywhere. I don't think I spotted one. So maybe we've kind of found all the ones that are currently available. We might have to wait for other things to happen to produce more. Um, there's an infected zone somewhere. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, okay. That that checks out. That's okay. Um, can't... Ah, there we go. Pick up the firefighter. We shall put you over here. Where do we go? Into there. Boop. There you go. Rest in peace, firefighter friend. Um, right, okay. I think then the best thing we can do right now is wait for our brave explorer nuggets to come back. Okay, yeah. I mean, food coming down is what we expect to happen because that's what they're supposed to do. Um, and um, and yeah, also, yeah, the morale seems okay now. But yeah, the less food they've got, the less carry weight they have. So it can bring back more exciting things. So they've bought back... Oh my, they, they've bought back so many things. <laughs> We're going to get so much stuff. We're going to get so much stuff. Okay, uh, let's just wait for them to come back. Because it's now just going to be minutes, isn't it? It's hardly any time at all until they come back. So, uh, yeah, we'll just wait for them to um, to make their return back. And then we'll see what we do with all the goodies they've found. Okay, our brave explorers are 54 seconds away from returning. But they've picked up some more stuff. They've picked up another couple of rare ent legs. Which does make you question how rare they are if they've picked up a lot of them. How many rare ent legs? We've got eight of them now. Are they that rare? I would say not, but that's quite good. That is 48 discovery points in total for all of those. And they also picked up some healing flowers. Okay, so they prevent nugget death. Meds automatically have a chance to prevent nugget death by converting them to a sled until the party returns to base camp. Now, the only thing is, I mean, that's quite good, but do we need that right now? They are 54 seconds away from coming home. Do we drop this? I don't quite know how heavy they are. They are 1.3 in weight. Oh, crikey. Okay, we're going to have to drop something interesting. We're going to have to drop an artifact of some kind. I mean, maybe we go for something common. Do we drop a common thing? I think we can drop the healing flowers and just hope that they're fine on the way back. So drop that. So we're on 74 out of 71. So how about... We look over here. So uh, a common alien chip. I want other discovery points, though, because they can unlock really exciting things. Epic ore just sounds fantastic. We can't drop that. Epic alien spares also sounds exciting. Um, what about, what if we dropped one lot of common alien spares? They are three apiece. Well, what's the common thing there? Uh, the common alien armor. Instead of unknown resources, you will receive... One discovery point. Okay, I think then, let's drop a piece of common alien armor. Um, oh, we might need to drop the other piece as well. Right, there we go. So now, tick time on, they can get back. There we go. The time is coming down. The election has started. Hang on. We'll, with one second left until they return, we will just go and sort the election out. Just to make sure we've got the right candidate on the go. Uh, right, material cost reduction from Laboro, who's got an amazing hat on. Well done. Um, okay, what does that do? Decreased quality materials lead to the increased building decay. Buildings decay increased by one per second. Oh no, that sounds that's awful. <laughs> What's the good thing of that? Material cost, so it's cheaper to build the buildings, but they also fall apart quicker. No, I'm not having that at all. Nuggets try to breathe less, okay, or gym bands. Nugget strength decreased by five. I mean, the only good one really is that one. So we shall uh, influence all the Nuggets to vote for you. Uh, there is a thing down here, which we've not really looked at too much. But yeah, there is a sort of an oxygen type meter thing. Um, we have no pollution going on, which is good. And yeah, we've got 92 out of 100 oxygen. I don't know what some of the other things are. Like that there. Some sort of tree counter and a water counter. So uh, have we chopped down... 2,000 of the 16,000 trees on the planet and we've used up 5,000 of the 139,000 units of water on the planet. Maybe that's what that is telling us. 
Okay, right. So, I mean, that gives us, yeah, if we do get that, that's plus 10% oxygen. Again, I don't think it's that much of a bother right now. I don't think it's that much of an issue at the moment, but, uh, but yeah. Okay, that's fine. So we'll go for you. That's all good. So there's an election on the go. And, um, okay, here we go. The nuggets. Oh, and now five, four, three, two, one, and zero. And, oh, is it? Oh, I thought that was the timer until they actually got out. That's the time. Oh, there we go. Now it's got low food. Team will rebel. Hang on. Camp then, and we'll just give you some magic food to eat. Oh, but now you're overloaded. <laughs> Stop picking things up. Uh, we'll drop some common alien spares. Drop one. Oh, these are, that's got like iron and stuff in it, though. Do you know what? It's fine. We can get iron out of the ground. It's okay. Right. There you go. And now they're four minutes away from getting out again. I thought it said they were one second away. Um, okay, right. Well, that's, I mean, they are going to bring back so much exciting stuff, but they have burnt through their food. I thought the whole point was that they got through their food. They got through half the food and they went, oh, right. Yeah, brilliant. And then came back. So they had the right amount of food upon their return. Unless something hasn't quite gone right there. I'm not sure, but okay, right. They've got lovely kind of, yeah, sweet, tasty lumps of something on the go, which is brilliant. Um, right, let's just check that everything else is okay. We've not got any fires on the go. We've not got any kind of, you know, storms on the way or whatever. The team are overloaded again. <laughs> right, 70, 69 out of 59. Um, oh, do they need to have a rest? Is that what's happening? Oh, oh, a nugget has died. Okay, have a little camp. Eight morale can come back. But yeah, they can't... Oh, botherations. Okay, right. We need to put down something which is quite good. Uh, that we can get rid of because it's just stuff that we can find ourselves. So we need to drop... Yeah, the fact the nugget is dead is a bit of an issue, isn't it? Epic ore is... I don't even know what some of that is. Uh, it looks like it's one unit of cement, but then two units of something else which we might possibly not have. Oh, no, I think it's stone, actually. I think it's stone. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, is that all that is? Rare ore is just some bricks. We could get rid of that. I mean, the bricks are useful, but we could get rid of that and get rid of that. Right, we're down to 66 out of 59. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to have to sacrifice exciting things. I'm not getting rid of those pyramids. Those pyramids are amazing. And they're almost out, look. They're almost out. What if... Get rid of one of their foods. Uh, get rid of another food. Okay, 65 out of 59. Oh, no. Um, okay, what about... And what about stuff that gives us not very much? That gives us resources. The egg is... The egg is food and gas. I think that's what that's telling us at the bottom there. So I think it's three. Is that three food and two units of gas? We can live without that. That can go. 64. Okay. <laughs> the alien spares. Uh, that I think we can get rid of. Get rid of the epic ore. Down to 63. We're going to have to lose something good, aren't we? We're going to have to lose something good. Um, it might be the epic giant tooth. Because they weigh four. So that would get us down. That does mean we would lose six discovery points. But it means they can bring back all this other stuff. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. We could lose that hand thing. But then we have to lose other stuff as well. That seems like the most logical thing. Right, do that. Oh, it's down to 61 out of 15. Oh, <laughs> hang on a minute. That Those numbers didn't add up quite right then. Um... What can we do? Can we get rid of that then? How much do they weigh? Three in total. Oh, that's the entire weight of that whole stack that was individually. Now, oh, botherations. Um, okay, so let's get rid of an ent leg. They've got loads of them anyway. There we go. Right, we are down. Okay, right. And now, are they going to come back? Right. The team have returned from the expedition, finally. Oh, click and see what they've brought back. Uh, right, we know what they've brought back because we've been looking at it quite a bit. I feel like possibly we should have worked that out a little bit better. I think we did get rid of something that we didn't need to possibly, but never mind. Uh, right, end the expedition and there we go. So we bring back all those things. All the resources go, I assume, into... Oh, yeah, look! 
A massive pile of discovery points. Oh my word. Right, we're going to get all of these things. Uh, right, we will have the Archimedean screw. So that means our water pump is going to be incredibly super efficient. We'll get ourselves the corbel arch so we can make bridges. We will get gunpowder so we can have shooty guns. And we will have penicillin, which is 10 years to the nugget lifespan. That's brilliant. Um, and then we shall add on at the end of the research tree there, the Ministry of Health, because we can get that because we understand how penicillin works. So do that. Right. And then if we just run time on, all those things are going to unlock. So boom, 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 boom. We got all those four things. And now the Ministry of Health is underway. Um, so yeah, we can get muskets and medieval bridges and things. Uh, right, so there is one thing that we haven't looked at this particular video. And the reason we haven't is because I completely forgot about it until just then when I saw something that reminded me. So carriage houses. Where are carriage houses? Uh, in fact, let's tick time on nice and slow. There's something just there. That is a bridge. Okay, so there's a bridge. And then recreation is... Oh, and a movie theatre. Okay, we could get that in. We could get a movie theatre in. Where is the carriage house? Because we unlocked carriage houses last time. And I don't know what they do. And I don't know where they are. Where is a carriage house? <laughs> where has... Oh, we can put a cattle farm. We could get a cattle farm at some point. Um, okay, carriage house. Ah, it becomes a garage, I think, doesn't it? That's the equivalent, isn't it? I think, yeah. Um, like to allow placement of Stone Age residential buildings. Oh, no, no, not that. No, no, I thought they showed the different kind of things. Um, would you like to allow the placement of medieval age residential buildings? I just want them to build the houses that are appropriate. But, yeah, I think it was a garage, wasn't it? That was a carriage house. Uh, what does that do, though? Increases happiness and decreases crime. Uh, okay, can we get one in? How big are they? They are... Oh, they're not that big. Let's just put one in over here, look. We can snap it to that road, and then we'll see what that does. I've got no idea what that does. I mean, do they need one? They probably don't need one, really, do they? But never mind. Um, and, uh, yeah, can we get some more rangers? Uh, I mean, what do we do with them? I don't know. Let's train... Another three rangers. So how do we know which nuggets are rangers? Can we find out? Uh, I don't, we click on that look and it just goes... Oh, no, hang on. No, look, they're there. They're there. They've got little kind of military hats on. So Manabos Geek and uh, Ulvalbo Felagun. The Felaguns are doing well for themselves. They are now two of our rangers. And we're going to get another three to boost our fighting forces up to five. Oh, hang on. The new leader of Cabordia has been declared and it's Kelki. Okay, right. That's good. I think in terms of happiness, we're fine. So uh, yeah, we won't do the celebrating thing and we are going to try to encourage the Nuggets to breathe less. Okay, <laughs> that's very silly. Um, is it worth then to wrap things up? If they're working on that kind of garage thing over there, is it also worth looking at getting a bridge? Can we look at a bridge between maybe just here and just here? Because, or maybe just here and over there, look. Because people live over there. So how would that work? How would that work in terms of building a bridge? Got a thing here. So cement, iron and planks. I get that. So if we said uh, no firefighting hurts in range. Okay, that's that's okay. We can, we can live without that. So if we put that like that and then said... Well, hang on. No, I don't want it to go that. I want it to kind of... How do we determine where the bridge is going to end up? So if we said, yes, build a bridge there. Yeah. And then it kind of... Ah, okay. So we can build a bridge across there to connect up to our little sort of house over there. Uh, yeah. All right. Do that. Yes. It's going to annoy the people nearby, but we will build a mighty bridge over there. It's going to annoy... Yeah. Who are you guys? Uh, Carinaville. Carinaville not going to be happy with us. We could do some trading. We could do a bit of trade with them. Are we lacking anything? Bricks. Can we have some bricks, please, Carinaville? We'll take some of your bricks and we'll give you some uh, glass. Have some glass. There you go. Have more than a few bits. Uh, if you had 10 bits of glass and we can take some bricks off you, 
Then, uh, yeah, there we go. Trade. So that gets oh, not very much uh, sort of reputation with them, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. But we did get some bricks from them. And then we can use that on all the buildings. How about over here, you guys in Loveland? You're sort of okay with us. Can we get anything off you? Oil? No, I've got loads of oil. We don't need oil. Can we give them some oil? Would you like some of our oil? We'll give you five bits. Okay, so they really like us. Oh, that's quite good. They're quite happy with us. And then just to finish up, where are the other ones? They're not too far away from here, are they? Where are the other ones? Go through a cloud. Um, yeah, Capital City. There we go. That's you guys, isn't it? Hello, Capital City. Uh, would you like some oil? I'm, I'm quite happy to give you two bits of oil to get our reputation up a bit. Right, there we go. Uh, and I think with that done, we will wrap things up. Although the fact that we now have bridges is quite handy to know. That's quite a useful thing. Have they started building it yet? No, not quite yet. And I don't know if they've done that either. Nothing is even in there yet. We'll prioritise the garage over there. But we'll come back to that, I think. We'll come back to that. And then I think next time, really, what we'll do is we'll get this thing done. We'll unlock the Ministry of Health. That's fine. Um, and then we will stock up on things like cement. Because we need that, I think. We need quite a bit of cement. Quite a bit of glass. So maybe we'll get another cement factory in and another glass factory in just to really make the most of that because then we will unlock industrialization and head into the modern age which then means we get modern residential blocks modern temple that kind of stuff but with modern stuff i imagine we are going to need cement and glass to have modern buildings with you know walls and windows and things so i think yes that's what we will do so we'll try and get to that sort of uh, that next age next time but we'll just do a little bit of kind of building up of resources first just to make sure that we're prepared because as soon as we enter a new age a lot of the residential buildings will start upgrading themselves and um yeah we don't want to sort of be caught a little bit short without the resources so we'll try and do that as well but that is all for us to deal with next time hopefully you are still enjoying this if you are please do leave a like that would be most wonderful indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in the universe sim but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i'll see you next time we are going to be known as the keepers of the tea betty is very clever oh she's very clever it's betty it's the hat I think. So let's injure you. So, oh, okay, or not. <laughs> Fine, don't injure them then. It's a no from us right now, Robert. But you know what? Have this tea. Take this tea away with you. They've kind of died a bit. Okay. <laughs> Look at all of the tea we've got going on. This is wonderful.